Hi, this is Robert, and I wanted to talk to you about an issue that uh, came up when I was browsing the DIY audio website, and I was on the uh, uh, Pass Labs, and Here's the standard F5 Turbo Builders thread, but the one I was on was actually, uh, here it is, F5 Turbo Illustrated Build Guide. So we'll go on this. If you haven't seen this, this is vital stuff. This was done by uh, forum member 6L6, and it is just awesome. As you can see, here's the uh, dim bulb tester. He also has uh, extensive writing on the bias process here. And we also have input from other folks. This is again, uh, again showing a revised bias process. But what I want to do uh, see is find page 84. So we'll go up here. And uh, Elwood625 says, Fluctuating bias can be caused by the thermistor contacting the steel fender washer instead of the plastic body of the MOSFET. Also, the paint on the thermistor is known to short out output devices when it is in contact with metal surfaces. And uh, he says one of the few failures he's found and sure enough, this is how I've uh, done the thermistors on uh, my amplifier. I just, uh, the uh, DIY audio uh, chassis kit comes with these enormous uh, one inch diameter flat washers that you use to hold the uh, MOSFETs to the heat sink with. And they're great until you need to try and uh, mount a thermistor there. And I just said, what the hell, I'll just, you know, attach the thermistor to the uh, top of the washer. And apparently that's a no-no. So uh, I just recently uh, pulled the uh, big washers off of the uh, MOSFETs that had thermistors on them and mounted much more manageable uh, 3-8 size flat washers, as you'll see in the pictures. Uh, what I found is it seemed to, uh, the amp seemed to run a bit hotter, but the uh, bias did seem a little more stable. I don't think I'm getting the drifts that I was, so uh, I'm still doing uh, burn-in and drift uh, tests and uh, should be back on listening tests soon. But uh, anyway, please, uh, if uh, you have to... Uh, just go down to Ace Hardware, get some stainless steel flat washers. Uh, I ended up piggybacking a small flat washer on top of the big flat washer, along with a lock washer, just to uh, make sure that everything was safe and secure there. And the nice thing is that uh, uncovered uh, uh, most of the uh, plastic surface of the top of the MOSFET. So it made it relatively easy to bend the uh, thermistor down and have it contact that. Also, I had previously used uh, E6000, and I found the heat on the MOSFET had caused it to just shrivel up to nothing. So I went back to good old uh, regular RTV silicone seal, and that seems to be uh, uh, holding up much better to the heat of the uh, MOSFET. So. I think uh, this is uh, all around a better way to go, and uh, so I've done this uh, video. Anyway, uh, that's about it. Thank you uh, for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if uh, you enjoy this stuff, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.